And as COVID hospital admissions continue to surge, the region's largest EMS provider says that it is seeing delays in getting patients the care that they need. Channel 2's Jeff Praval is that part of the story for us tonight. Inside many local hospitals, beds are hard to come by, with many hospitals telling us they're either at or over capacity. That's having a direct impact on local ambulance providers, which say they're also seeing higher call volume. When a hospital reaches capacity, you know, they have nowhere to offload an ambulance and to be able to go ahead and put the uh, ambulance in, uh, you know, into an emergency room bed. You know, if you're not able to get your admitted patients upstairs, you're not able to um, then offload the ambulances. Causing delays in the system. AMR's chief EMS officer says patients are taken elsewhere. You know, we work with our hospital partners to, you know, come up with systems and figure out different types of solutions out there to be able to work together. But even that can be difficult in the heat of the moment. It's a challenge right now because obviously everybody's seeing, you know, the overcapacity. So that makes it challenging for the men and women in the streets to be able to try to advocate for their patients. In hopes of conserving hospital beds, Governor Kathy Hochul, through executive order, will allow the Department of Health, starting on Friday, to limit non-essential procedures in hospitals with limited capacity. Starting today, ECMC has a new visitation policy, which includes no visitation for COVID patients except in end-of-life situations. Situations. To keep more hospital beds available, inpatient elective surgeries will remain suspended at ECMC. Now, medical officials, they urge people if they are experiencing a mild symptom of illness to call their doctor or contact an urgent care center and to not call 911 unless they have a true emergency and also for people to follow local COVID protocols. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perral, Channel 2 News.